I conducted an exploratory case study that investigates the hardships women in architecture firms face because of their gender. The research questions I created are, what experiences with discrimination and gender bias issues have female architects had while working in architecture firms? How does gender bias within the workplace affect women in the architecture field? As part of my research material, I conducted three interviews with female architects in South Florida, as well as read scholarly journals and articles on the subject. I looked into three of the most significant female architects in history. First, Marion Manley was the first woman in South Florida to qualify for an architectural license and later became one of the founders of the American Institute of Architects chapter. Often discredited and undermined, Manley partnered with men who took most of the credit for her designs and plans. Second, Denise Scott Brown was one of the most influential architects in the 20th century for her architectural design and written works. She wrote a now famous essay named Room at the Top, Sexist at the Star System in Architecture. She wrote about her struggles to be recognized and equal in the firm and her discriminations within the architectural world. Scott Brown now advocates for women in architecture and spreads awareness about discrimination and gender bias. Thirdly, Zaha Hadid is known around the world for her extraordinary and groundbreaking designs and projects. Hadid was the first woman to be awarded the Pritzker Architecture Prize and the only woman awarded the Royal Gold Medal from the Royal Institute of British Architects. The sparse representation of women in architecture firms demonstrates a sexual discrimination taking place within architecture, restricting women from becoming influential and successful architects. The gender bias about women implying that they do not have significant careers causes disrespect and belittlement by men within the workplace. Often, women need to put themselves in positions of power or leadership to be respected. The control men possess over the power positions in firms prevents women from growing and progressing within the architecture field. Women needed to create positions of power within their own architecture firms to receive respect from male architects. However, I observed that women needed a man by their side to be respected by outside companies and potential clients. The gender bias that surrounds women in power affects their ability to work as solo presidents and owners of architecture firms. Many females believe that to be respected as a professional in the architecture field, they need to keep a tough exterior. Women are outnumbered within architecture firms. They need to prove themselves and overcompensate with a stronger and more assertive personality. Women look onto people like Zaha Hadid and have created the stereotype that to be a professional woman, they must be like a man. But there is a second kind of working woman that believes women need to rise above and take control without losing their femininity. A challenge female architects experience is the pursuit of family versus career. Since many women wish to have children, many female architects felt torn between pursuing a career in a male-dominated career or leaving their profession to raise children. The gender bias around women to prioritize their family and home caused many women to give up these things in order to not be penalized for having a career. Women with successful careers are often seen as selfish for prioritizing their careers and are assumed to not give enough attention to their children. Because of the gender bias towards women with careers, many female architects choose to leave the profession in order to have families. On the upside, the women in architecture firms are changing the atmosphere to provide more family-friendly opportunities. Additionally, technology has innovated architecture firms to give access to remote work experiences. Throughout history, female architects struggled with recognition for projects and respect within the workplace, but within the 21st century, changes are taking place. Discrimination and gender bias have restricted women for a long time, but women have shifted the situation. More opportunities are arising for female architects as they start their own architecture firms. Additionally, technology has shifted how female architects with children can now work from home.